prep can be expensive. So make sure you budget and plan ahead. It's really a blessing to have a partner who is very supportive and being understanding about your prep. What are you buying? Protein. If I miss this training, then my next training will be next Saturday. Because <gasps> I'm not on the prep. Ha! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Day One Diaries episode 5. For those of you who watched my last episode, you may know that I am off prep now, but a lot of routines, my diets, my workout plan, they're still pretty much the same because I want to take it slowly while getting my hormone and my health back. And this week, my husband and I we are celebrating our five years together anniversary and I want to show you guys 10 things that my husband, who is not a competitor, learned about my bikini prep. So he's going to share some tips with you from his point of view about when your partner are on prep and what kind of things that will happen, things that you may expect so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you also learn more about couple like us one is a competitor and one is just go to the gym because they want to feel good for their health and just normal people versus competitive life and i want to show you that it's truly a blessing to have a partner who is very supportive and being understanding about your prep and this is definitely a blessing and do not take it for granted. All right, let's enjoy this episode. Let's go. Make time to go to the gym to show that you support her. Hi guys, today is Sunday. Supposedly the hurricane is coming, but right now it's just a little bit showering. But I make it to the gym and finish my back day. I'm so proud of myself. Today is my 95 days transformations. I look myself in the mirror and I definitely make some gains and I am so happy. All right, I'm gonna head back before the real hurricane is coming. Stay safe. Wu Pao restaurants ran men were closed. Oh, Mama. Happy birthday. Happy three year old. Jot down the grocery list because it's the same thing every single week. If you need prep to be expensive, so make sure you budget and plan ahead. What are you buying? Protein. <laughs> so the fourth thing I learned while my wife is on prep, well, she's always on a very tight eating schedule. So when she needs to eat, make sure she gets to eat. And this is my food. What are you eating? Steak, eggs, avocado, and tater tots. Don't ever feel guilty to eat your favorite foods. Why? Because <gasps> I'm not on the prep. Ha! <laughs> Be understanding and accommodating when you're going out to eat with family because she's on prep. Today we are seeing our family and I brought my meal prep. <sighs> Just finished my morning cardio and I'm thinking about whether I should head to the gym right after meal one, which is my breakfast, or stay home because we are going out today to celebrate our five years together anniversary we're gonna drive an hour so i want to make sure we have enough time should i go should i go but i only train my bag 
once a week and today is back day and I don't know if I miss this training then my next training will be next Saturday that means my back won't get trained for a whole week hmm should I go the eighth thing that I learned is that gym time is prioritized. Even on her anniversary, she still shows up to the gym. And we just need to come to understand that this is going to happen during prep. So I just finished making my breakfast and my husband's breakfast. And I want to show you guys because we eat totally different. He likes typical American diet. And you guys know me, I like to eat whole foods, clean food competitive bodybuilding food and it's totally okay you guys can live in the same household without any problem it doesn't affect our relationship at all so this is my usual morning functional coffee it's l-glutamine it's really good with my coffee and this is my typical oatmeal pancake and i make my husband this this is um, turkey bacon, eggs, and bagel with some avocado. And yeah, look at this. In addition, I also learned that there are multiple classes in the fitness competition world and not just big muscular people. Nothing wrong about that. No, <laughs> not at all. Except when they got more than me. <laughs> Ta -ta. So unfortunately, we had to find another place because clearly they say they close at 2.30 but right now it's only 2 and they just told us that they're not taking dining anymore and only to go and we drove an hour anyway. So now we find another option and we are going there. Here's another tip. Prep diets make the other person very hangry. So understand what they are putting their body through. I'm hangry. Bonus, get used to see her bringing the food scale with her on the date. We've been together five years. Yay! So we just finished our sushi lunch and we have our boba. I got this um, matcha milk tea with no sugar and then I add my um, stevia in it to sweeten my matcha milk tea and then my husband got this taro milk tea and we are on the way home and I just want to end this video with some gratitude and love and I just want to say we've been together for five years and when I first met my husband, he doesn't really know much about um, competitions and bodybuildings and I really, really appreciate all the support that you have been provided through this journey to me and I think it's truly a blessing when you have a partner who is super supportive and any things that you want to do any goals that you want to achieve in life they don't just say it and they show it through their actions through their love through their support and you can see it and feel it and it makes me oh sorry we're on the road but anyways it really makes me feel this is truly a blessing and I don't want to take it for granted and I just want to say I love you, babe. Happy five years. Anything you want to say to the camera? Uh, over the last five years. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, I think that we've had a lot of learning experiences. When we have a fight, I think we gotta grow from it, and I feel like we do a pretty good job of that. Mm -hmm. I think, like, 
I, I don't think that it's not possible to have zero fight in a relationship. But through these five years, what I learned from this relationship is we have a really good problem solving skills together as a team. Every time when we fight, either one of us will try to approach to the other one. Yes, thank you. And we will work together and find a solution together instead of um, being stubborn sometimes. But we try, like, we try to come together and find a solution, which makes me feel like we are a team to try to solve a problem. And, and then we play rock, paper, scissors to initiate. Uh, the loser has to give the hug. Yes, rock, paper, scissors. And I always win because I know him so well. Not no spikes, though. <laughs> yeah, so if we couldn't figure out who's right or wrong, but honestly, for me, there's no right or wrong in a relationship. Um, but if we want to know if someone wants to have an answer, we play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, so loser's gonna say sorry. That's it. I want to share with you, it's totally fine if you're on a diet, you and your partner eat different diet. That's totally okay. You don't need to force your partners or you don't need to, how do I say, expect your partner to eat the same food like you because you can put your fitness goal on your partner. Everyone has different fitness goal. So, if your partner is different food, that's totally okay. Look at us. We are a great example. Five years into the relationship and we're still happily together. We eat different food. He eats like a typical American food. And I eat like a bodybuilder and totally fine. I cook two different meals for our dinner. And maybe for our future, I hope our kids will be like a bodybuilder so I don't have to cook three different kinds of meals. Two, it's already good for me. All right, all right. So um, I want to end the video here. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye. Peace.